African penguin is the only penguin species endemic to the African continent. Uh, numbers of have declined quite dramatically over the past century. People started doing research about penguins around the 1930s when there were about a million breeding pairs. Today, there's only about 23,000 breeding pairs. So roughly only about 2% of the population remain in the wild today. They can only be found in South Africa and in Namibia. Sanctuary has got a very active rescue and rehabilitation program with, with African penguins. We see about 1,500 African penguins every year. About seven to 900 of those are African penguin chicks. So that forms a very big part of the work we do as part of our chick bolstering project which ties in with a national program called the African Penguin Biodiversity Management Plan, which on a national level gets organizations like SANCOP and various other partners involved to work together to save the, the species. SANCOP sees about 150 volunteers every year. And I'm still amazed every day when I walk in here and you see bright-eyed volunteers coming to help. SANCOP has a very small staff component. We simply wouldn't be able to keep our doors open if it wasn't for volunteers. So, I think the volunteers often don't realize, but they, they, they make a huge difference uh, throughout the year, not only just to work uh, with the birds, but to keep the centre clean. But they really are the heart of the organization, and as I mentioned, they become custodians for the work that we do, and it just adds to the word of mouth that we have in the national arena. They predict with the trajectories and the speculation, by 2025 there will not be a wild colony of these animals. You only see these animals in aquarium and zoos. In the wild, these guys fulfill a very important niche ecologically. It's a bird that can't fly, but yet it's a bird that lives in the water and it dives deep. So if we look at the interrelationships between other species, this guy, we call him the miner. He goes down deep and he recovers the gold and the silver and he brings it to the surface for the other birds to feed that can't go down deep. So if we remove this from the system, everything else starts collapsing. This is a keystone species. And if we look at populations around Africa, we look at it and we say it's an indicator species. When they're doing well, our fish resource is good, our security is good, and our shelter is good. They say we are intelligent, we can make a choice. We're the only ones that can make a choice, folks. These guys can't make a choice. When they go out to sea, they have to go and find fish. And if fish is nearby, as it is in this locality, it's prosperous. West Coast, fish is not, is not there. These guys travel 80 to 100 kilometers on an outing. A little vessel like that, he cannot sustain that. He cannot go and get the fish and come back and feed it to hungry chicks in the nest site. So the chicks will not survive, they'll starve to death. We're trying to do as much as we can for the population to be sustainable because if we lose these guys, we're losing a lot in our marine world. And as they are an indicator species, Currently, 90% decline is showing us that the marine environment is slowly but surely switching off. And we are very reliant on that environment. 